Hey, here's Rene Schulte, and I want to show you some nice stuff that just came in via the Unity 5.5 beta and a new companion app called HoloLens, uh, which will allow us to speed up HoloLens development dramatically. Uh, this thing is called Unity Remoting, and let me show you one thing for us, which I'm also pretty excited. It's a small thing, but it's really nice. Uh, Unity 5.5 beta also adds a new mode for highlighting selections. So instead of the selection wire, you can also enable selection outline. And when I select an object, it will show an outline instead of its wireframe, which is way nicer for um, selecting and changing materials in place. Okay, so but it, this is not what I wanted to show you. What I want to show you is called Unity Remoting, which allows me to basically remote into my whole lens and see real-time uh, Unity scene changes I do here in my Unity editor on the whole lens reflected. So this will be similar like uh, Oculus Rift or HTC Vive development and saves a lot of development time, of course. So you need a few things first. Um, you need the Unity 5.5 beta. I have the 5.5 v4 version which um, has a new feature and of course you need also a Unity HoloLens project which I have here. This is my typical Holo World project I use for you know conference talks and so on. And you can go to the window and then you will find holographic simulation and remoting. And you can open that window here. You see that? And then you need to select a certain perception mode. So you have two available. There's one simulate in editor. So you can also simulate like spatial mapping and all of that inside the emulator. And what we want to use is remote to device. And what you need to do is you need just basically to enter the IP address of your HoloLens device here and then click connect. Or you can also set the checkbox automatically connect, which will then uh, automatically connect once you press the play button. And you also need to launch a specific application on the HoloLens. And yes. this application, you can download it from the HoloLens Windows Store. It's called Holographic Remoting. So search for that in the store and then install that. Um, once you launch it, it will show you the IP address of your device, which is very convenient. So I can just type it into Unity here. And yep and this and that guy okay so i entered the ip address correctly i launched the holographic remoting player on the whole lens and in unity i also uh, enabled automatically connect so i don't have to press the connect button here i can just press the play button in unity and then it should work and connect to the whole lens and basically render the scene from unity editor directly in the whole lens so pressing the play button and giving it a, a few seconds to establish the connection. So now there is a connection. And yeah, you can see that when I rotate my head with the whole lens, I also uh, see the camera updating in the Unity Editor, right? So I rotate here and the camera and the Unity Editor updates. And that is pretty amazing if you ask me and I can even of course use like air tapping you also see the spatial map there like from a laptop it's occluding the the boxes there right yeah and I can use for example air tap so I can actually play the whole thing or voice commands like Height plane. Boom, there it goes. Um, yeah, that is, uh, that is terrific. That is really amazing. And um, reset scene. So I have my scene reset again. And the cool thing is I can actually, you know, change certain objects here in my, in my Unity scene. So I can, I can do this and I can move that guy run you see that and it actually updates the rendering as well so or, or this plane you see the the green plane there I could just hide it here in the unity editor right deactivate activate deactivate activate so this is pretty awesome because I can test directly on the device and this is actually even better than what we have with Oculus or the HTC Vive because 
uh, this will allow us to um, to wear the device while actually developing, right? Because with HoloLens, we can still see everything around us. With the HTC Vive and the, and the Oculus, you're pretty much on your own. You always need to put it on and put it off. With the HoloLens, you can just <laughs> wear it all the time. And now with the cool new uh, holographic remoting that Unity 5.5 enables, um, this will save us a lot of time. Um, I noticed a couple of things uh, which are not perfect, but it's a very early beta version, so that is fine. Uh, it sometimes doesn't connect, it disconnects, and uh, also a lot of things like the left and right eye, there's a bit of not, not in sync, uh, but so far that is uh, pretty awesome, and the latency is also pretty good. So I'm using here, by the way, my, my a dedicated Windows 10 uh, mobile hotspot, and you see it's pretty instantly so that is rather nice. Okay, thanks for watching.